Welcome to the new year! Like all the other industries, web design trend has been anticipated by digital designers and web designers this year. I'll share 7 top trends for website design for 2021 and how you can apply that for your business. Trend number 1. Animation Animation is making a strong comeback this year. With the rise of animated graphic, use on popular website builder like Webflow, and don't forget, animation converter tool like Lottie Files, it has made it so easy for us to implement animations on a website. If you ask me why should you consider adding animation into your website, well, the answer is really simple. It's fun! It gives your user delight and help them engage longer on your site. Planning to use animation for your website here are some tips I have for you. Use parallax animation to create depth effect. Micro animate your icon for simple movement. Animate your cursor and let your user have fun on your website. Trend number two, use of emojis. Ever since it was created in 1999 by a Japanese artist, Shigetaka Kurita, and debuted on iPhones almost 11 years ago on November 21st, 2008. Emoji has now become the world's first truly really universal form of communication. Many designers and business owners are now embracing it too. I mean, me too, honestly. Emojis add some fun elements to the website design. On top of that, you can pretty much use any relevant emojis to replace standard icons on your website. For example, the smile or looking cool emoji to replace a user icon, or shopping cart emoji to replace shop cart icon. Here are some tips if you're planning to use emojis for your website. Use it sparingly. Best way to use it is when you want to replace a simple icon like a checkbox or a mail emoji. Emoji are best used with cleaner or solid background. Avoid using emoji when your website design already have enough graphics throughout the layout. Trend number 3. 3D images You've probably seen 3D images being used to replace photos or illustrations on the website's feature section or the hero. Well, expect to see more of them this year. We as the users crave to see something more tangible on websites these days. By using 3D images, it helps us envision them as we browse through the site. 3D images are also great to help set a specific scene accompanied by a well-crafted storytelling copy. Here's how you can use 3D images for your website. Leverage 3D images to showcase important sections of selected features on your product and help bring it to life. Avoid using 3D images if you feel that your target audience may perceive it as too cartoony for your brand. Trend number 4. Multimedia Experiences Adding images and videos to a website is pretty standard these days. But to have images, video, audio or sound effect, and animation into a website? Now that's a new multimedia experience. We'll be seeing more of this as more websites adapt more animations and web designers get more creative in incorporating multimedia experiences on the web. Planning to add multimedia experiences to your website? Well, here are a couple of my tips. You don't have to use all of the media. Pick a few that would make sense and work best for you and your users. Planning to add some audio? Try adding sound effects on animated buttons. Trend number 5. Augmented Reality or AR I personally am really excited for this trend. The use of augmented reality on a website would really help retail businesses with their products. Imagine shopping for a Jeep car online. Using AR, you can experience the inside of a Jeep car right from the comfort of your couch. We'll also start seeing more and more retail businesses use AR to help you envision how big or small a product you're planning to buy and how nicely it will fit in a room, not fit in a room. Here's some tips for you if you plan to use augmented reality for your website. It's best used for businesses that offer tangible products. 
use it as an addition to images for your shop page. You can also use it as the main featured section on your homepage to help wow your first time users. Trend number six, dark mode. Dark mode website isn't exactly new, but with more and more apps offering light and dark mode for accessibility, the web is adapting as well. You'll start seeing more use of dark mode website this year. You'll also see more websites with more colored background that are easier on the eyes. If you're planning to use dark mode for a website, make sure you keep a high contrast between the elements on your website. Also, avoid using fonts that are smaller than 16 pixels for a dark website. Don't force your brand to use a dark mode if your brand colors are more on the lighter color scheme. Trend number seven, design system. Designer Nathan Curtis defined design system as a library of visual style, components, and other concerns documented and released by an individual, team, or community as code and design tools so that adopting products can be more efficient and cohesive. For businesses with less than 10 pages website, a design system might not be necessary. But if your business rely on your website for marketing and sales, Having a design system would not only save you time and money, but also make sure your online brand stays consistent. Here are some of my tips if you're planning to use design system for your website. Start small, at a very minimum, have a design system that lists how you will be using your frequently used web components, such as buttons for your CTA, character styles, hero treatment, or banner graphic treatment. The more you use your website as your go-to marketing tool, you'll be adding more web elements and components. Add them as you go so your design system will be up to date. There you have it, seven top trends for website design 2021. But remember, when you create website design, remember your why and your goals for your website. Understand what kind of experiences you really want to deliver for your user as they visit your website and browse through your website. Think about your user journey and user flow for your website. It really helps guide the user coming in from point A to point B on your website. Now, you also want to make sure that all of the CTA buttons that you have is very clear for them so that it makes it easy for them to understand what exactly the call to action that you wanted them to do on your website. If you don't think about the UX side of things for your own website, it's honestly not going to matter how fancy the visual design that you will have or the impressive AR that you may have implemented or even the amazing animation that you may have also included on your own website. Why? It's simply because they're not going to help convert your user into an actual lead. Thus, it's not going to help you create and hit that particular goal that you want for your own website. I hope these trends have inspired you. If you like design trends like these, let me know in the comment and share with me what other design trends you'd like to see more. Or better yet, subscribe and hit that bell button so that you'll get notified the next time I create more design and business related videos. Well, until then, see ya!